All right, guys. I want to share something with you. I've got, I'm going to back up here, show you the hole we got. So this is the cabinet where the refrigerator goes. And we've got this piece right here. And sure enough, you know, cabinets are put in. We're putting in a floating floor, by the way. And, you know, nobody wants to put cord around, base shoe around, anything like this, right? And you have, you know, most installers want to come in. They're going to sit there and all. They're not going to contact the carpenter and they're just going to cut around that, leave a half inch gap. And the issue with that is, again, you don't want to put any trimmer on that. So easy thing to do. Uh, DeWalt, multi-tool, Milwaukee multi-tool. They got all those multi-tools, oscillating saws. I think Ronnie's going to go grab it. But you just undercut the thing. Real simple. Um, boom. That's all it is right there. Easy little tool to use. And so you undercut, you undercut that. And now our floor goes underneath there and went together just fine. And visually, that's just going to look awesome. Now, next thing with these uh, pieces, I don't know if you can see that they're, they're not tight. I got it kind of wedged in there right now with those uh, brackets, but I've, I've got to show you something else to do here. But what you should do is I always pick up these little L brackets like this, short little screw to go into there. And then you're gonna put one through the floor. Now, the screw that you put through there, you don't wanna screw right through your, your uh, material. I'm using, I think it's a quarter inch drill bit. So I'm gonna put a quarter inch hole just through the material. I'm not gonna go through the subfloor because I want around my material, around that screw, I want this floor to be able to move a little bit. Uh, truthfully, I think the floor needs like uh, I said, like a quarter inch or five sixteenths inch spacing around the edge. Yeah, we're not going to have that here. And truthfully, most of the time, five sixteenths is going to be pretty hard, uh, pretty hard to get anybody to go for something like that if you use, especially if you're using a three eighths inch baseboard. But anyways, so all you're going to do is take your drill. This is real simple. Drill out. Material only. And you'll usually feel a little click once it goes through. The nice thing is we got a quarter inch hole there. And uh, boom, we're ready to rock and roll with the floor. Get that screwed in. Uh, another thing, uh, you also want to make sure you get it lined back up where it needs to go. So, And I did that. I did mark a line back here. So I'm going to put the phone down, screw this in, and then show you when I'm done. Okay, so I got this all done here. So, you know, regardless, I know the screws don't match, but the refrigerator is going to sit in there, and this is going to cover up that whole front. So the refrigerator is going to come right up to this. Anyways, you're never going to see that. You know, just like that, that water line back there. But so the reason for screwing that down is I, I've seen so many of these, especially like I've seen where they've taken finish nails and tried to put a finish nail through. That's a stupid idea. Um, this is going to be in a walkway. And I'm sure at some point somebody's going to graze that or come into it. And you just want to um, keep it from uh, uh, moving, breaking. So anyways, little tip for the day. Hope it helps.